Kia ora, hello, I'm Philip Duncan. It is Wednesday the 15th of October. Thank you so much for joining me. Well, the joys of spring continue on. We've still got westerly winds on the way and they're going to surge back up across the country over the weekend, starting on Friday in the south and then again at the start of next week. But there are some signs, some subtle signs, that we're slowly slipping away from the windiest of the weather that we saw at the start of spring. So there we go, maybe a bit of silver lining. Let's have a look and see what's going on. Satellite and lightning today. Thunderstorms around Fiordland, a little bit into South Westland. As we go through the day, you can kind of see a line of showers here that'll move up along the West Coast and maybe into the some parts of the North Island. The yellow you see on the map here on the east of the South Island, that's high cloud. And so Aotearoa today, Land of the long white cloud across New Zealand as we see the cloudy weather carrying on. Now further northwards, high pressure of course, the protective layer between New Zealand and the tropics, but even the tropics at the moment, very quiet in the South Pacific, no big thunderstorms, no big rain events, most of that is either off the screen or happening here around Queensland and the Northern Territory. So on the wind map going into this evening, you can see the westerlies returning, coming back out of Tassie again. Uh, so the usual wind tunnels for west to southwest winds in New Zealand, there are three of them, Fovo Strait, Cook Strait, Auckland. Those are the three areas that tend to be a little more windy when we've got a setup like this. Now it's not overly problematic though around the country today, just that breeze blowing through. Eastern areas will be the driest and most likely to get the sunnier spells. So as we go into Thursday, the polar boundary comes back into Southland and Otago, maybe South Canterbury and over around uh, Fiordland and a bit of South Westland. Lower temperatures there, but not a huge amount of moisture around. So the, yeah, there could be a dusting of snow on the mountains, but it won't be very much. In the North Island, typical kind of west to southwesterly where you've got cloudy weather off the sea, mostly dry, but maybe a shower. And eastern areas are driest and probably the warmest too as well, especially around the North Island. As we go into Friday, there is the high, the one that we've been uh, talking about finally coming in. It's affecting most of the North Island, but especially the very top. But light winds in many regions, although they'll be still a bit breezy around Cook Strait, Wellington, you know, Wided Upper, Southern Wided Upper in particular. And then as you go further down the South Island, the windier the weather gets because that's the next surge of windy conditions arriving in the South Island as we go through Friday because the next cold front is on its way. So let's take us to the wind map. Saturday morning, four o'clock in the morning, the purple or darker shading around the lower North Island and Cook Strait and down through the mountains, all the way down to Fiordland. Those are the strongest of the winds. It's worth noting though, if you look at parts of Otago here, wind gusts of 120, 130 k's an hour on the mountaintops and on the hills and ranges, and then just nearby, light winds. So you're gonna have a bit of that around the South Island, calm in one valley, windy as anything in the next as these gusty spring-like conditions move up the country. So Saturday lunchtime, there is a cold front here, heavy west coast rain, and some of that will fall as snow higher up as the polar boundary starts to slide up the South Island. Ahead of it, warm, windy nor'westers, they'll pick up further around the North Island and a subtropical connection as well. As our high pressure zone already starts to move away, drags down a subtropical airflow for some of you. So Saturday could be quite a warm day, especially in the eastern areas, as those winds pick up, the sun's out a wee bit, but the clouds will move in as that very weak front, because it's weak out at sea here, starts to move towards the North Island. And by Sunday, that's it, that's all the leftovers. So you know, depending on what forecast you're looking at, you might be seeing rain clouds and the word rain, wait all day for it and you get barely a shower out of it. So that's probably what we're seeing here on Sunday. That's why we like to put in there the chance of rain, but also the rainfall amount that we expect. It's not always bang on accurate, but it, it's a good guide. And so if you've got 100% chance of rain and six millimeters forecast, that's really just a few showers. It's not much of anything. So the cold air comes in around the South Island, up into the lower North Island on Sunday, some wintry weather. Those of you who were keenly watching yesterday would have noticed the blue line here has dropped further than yesterday's update because the high out to sea has dropped southwards as well. So that means that that cold wave of weather moving up and then back down again won't go as far up the country at this stage as we were originally forecasting. So have to keep an eye on that, might move around a wee bit. Now Sunday has another surge of wind, it's not too bad, really you know, just showing you this map more out of interest than out of any sort of particular warning, but really from East Cape right down to Wellington, Along the eastern side of the North Island, strong winds pick up during the day, the usual blustery nor'westers coming through or westerly winds, and they might just get up into that area where it's wind warning criteria, which is 90 k's an hour and above, that is severe gale. Monday afternoon, look at the big storm over the Southern Ocean, nine 
40 hectopascal range. You know, if you zoom in, it goes down lower than what you see there, 949. Further up around the North Island, 1026. So that's a big air pressure gradient. If you were standing on, a, on the ground and it was a topographical map, that's a mountain and that's a crater. So it just drops right down from a big height to a big low. And that's what you're seeing there with the air pressure dropping around the country. And so severe gales return to the South Island on Monday. They'll be warm, northwest ones out of Australia or subtropical. So definitely not cold. And you see the gusty map here on Monday afternoon, what I would call central New Zealand, north of Christchurch, south of, south of Napier. Uh, that's where the windiest of the weather will be. Once again, northwesterly winds. And just like the winds we've got coming through on Saturday, some areas gusting to 120 k's an hour or more. And then just nearby in the blue shading, right at the bottom of the scale. So it will be a bit hit and miss as to who gets the worst of the winds. Let's go into next week a little further. Tuesday, you can see the high pressure zone a little further northwards than the one that's coming in on Friday of this week. So what does that mean? Well, when the highs are north of us and the lows are south of us, I already feel like you know what I'm about to say. The windy westerlies, they roar back across the country. So typical spring day on Tuesday, heavy west coast rain, windy nor'westers, severe gale around central areas of the country, and lightest winds at the top of New Zealand. So really kind of a bit of everything around New Zealand as we go into next week. But like I say, the highs, they're drifting a little further southwards now. The further south they come, the more the westerly winds go south of New Zealand and we get lighter winds around us. Also, the further south the highs go, the better chance we have of getting a rainmaker out of the north, out of the tropics. So let's have a look at the rainfall for the next seven days. And I mentioned it shows the whole key. Well, it almost does. It doesn't have zero and below. <laughs> Not that you can go below zero with rainfall, uh, but white shading is when you have absolutely no rain at all. So the purple or pink shading, I should say, around much of the North Island and the northeastern of the South Island means that you might get a few showers, but it's unlikely to add up to very much. Won't be likely to be more than five or 10 millimeters at the very most. Then you jump down over to the uh, southwest side and you're getting like the colors going right up to the extreme level. You could be seeing 400 millimeters of rain falling in some parts of Fiordland in just a week. Half a meter of rain nearly. So that's a lot of rain coming, but it is in a rainforest where you would expect it. So there we go. New Zealand is certainly seeing some slight changes in our weather pattern. Nothing too big just yet. All eyes are really gonna be on our November climate watch update because what we'll be looking for in November is will these westerly winds that we've seen a lot more enhanced this year, are they going to carry on sort of bringing a springish start to summer or are we going to see the wind suddenly ease and then something changing from the tropics? So that's what we're looking for in November. Too far out to even look at that just yet, but that's what we'll be monitoring over the next two weeks now that we're at the halfway mark of October. Thank you for joining me. Uh, we may not have a video out tomorrow, Thursday. It's not 100% sure. We've got a few other things going on. So if there is no video tomorrow, my apologies, but we will be back again on Friday. If we are tomorrow, nice bonus for you. Thanks for joining me. See you later on.